Hello everyone, this is Bobby. So today we're going to continue with our day three confession scriptures and today's subject is kingship and dominion. And we're going to read Romans 5.17. Then we'll talk about a couple of definitions and then we can make a confession out of it. For if by the one man's offense, death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. Reigning in life sounds good right about now. Okay, so uh, let's just talk about this a little bit. So by way of Adam's sin, death came into the world, and death rules and reigns through all creation, all creatures. We will all die, but through Jesus we receive eternal life. Amen? Okay, and it says... Much more, those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. Okay, I want to talk about, you know, there's so many aspects to the grace of God, so I don't want to go into all that. But a couple of aspects that we will touch on. So I want to talk about righteousness real quick. So there's two main aspects of righteousness. One is that sin had separated us from God, which produced a spiritual death, and then also it produced uh, a physical death. Okay, so one aspect of righteousness is that when our sins are washed away by the blood of Jesus, now we are in right standing with God because the sin has been removed. The sin is what separated us from God. And so when our sin is washed away, now we are in right standing with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit you know, by way of the blood of Jesus. So that's one aspect of righteousness. The second aspect of righteousness is if, if we think about how we were before we were born again, we had a sinful nature. And the Bible calls it sinful nature. It also calls it the old man. And it, the Bible says that the old man was crucified with Christ. In other words, the sinful nature was crucified with Christ. And then it says, it's no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. So we receive a new nature. We receive the very nature of God because we receive the Spirit of God. So we receive the, the nature of God, the spirit of God, the love of God, the do right of God, the do good of God. So all that do sin nature is replaced with do good and do right nature. Amen. So that is the second aspect of righteousness is that we become do writers instead of do sinners. You know. So anyway, um, so we receive a godly nature, a righteous nature. Okay, well, then he goes on to say that we will reign in life through Jesus Christ. And I want to look at this word reign. And we'll look at it, the Greek word, and then we'll look at the definition in English. So the word reign in Hebrew, in Hebrew, in Greek is basileu. And basileu means to be king, to exercise kingly power, to reign, metaphorically to exercise the highest influence to control. Okay, so this is a really strong definition. So if you are reigning in life, that means that you are being a king. Okay, remember that Jesus, Jesus died and made us kings. Jesus died and made us priests. Jesus um, died and made us sons of God. So we are sons of God. We are kings. We are priests. We are lords. We are rulers. We are reigners. We are more than conquerors. We're overcomers. We're triumphant ones. And the list goes on and on and on. And all those things are enabled by what Jesus has done to give us authority. Now we have to arise and operate in authority. We have to arise in faith. We have to know what belongs to us. We have to know that reigning in life rather than defeat in life belongs to us. We have to renew our mind to have a victory mindset, a, an authoritative mindset. We need to renew our mind to think that we're not at the whim of whatever's going on in the world or whatever the devil wants to do with us. Instead, we are in charge. We are kings. We are priests. We are lords. We are sons of God. We are seated in heavenly places far above all principalities, powers, mights, dominions, and every name that is named. Okay, so I could go on and on um, looking at all these different aspects of authority. But if we want to reign in life, we need to realize who we are as sons of God, kings and priests. Amen. Always remember, Jesus is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Okay, We are the lords whom Jesus is Lord over. We are the kings whom Jesus is king over. Okay, So we as a king or as a lord, that means we have a domain. Our domain is earth. We have a domain and we rule and we reign. And so if you're ruling and reigning, 
If you're a king, then you're going to be exercising kingly power. And just think about it in earthly terms, and then we'll translate that into spiritual terms. In earthly terms, back in the back in the old days, right, whenever there were all these kings and kingdoms and things, um, whatever the king commanded, boom, it would be done. You know, if a king commanded something and it wasn't done, whoosh, you know, off with the head. You know, heads would roll, literally. They would behead people. They would put people to death for not obeying the order of a king. And so I imagine that wasn't, you know, too common. I imagine that most people aligned with whatever the king commanded. Okay, well, we're not violent, obviously. We're, we're sons of God, so we do not fight. But um, we have that same powerful authority. Whatever we command, it shall be done. Whatever we command, it shall be done. Assuming that we are commanding the will of God to be done. Okay? So we are to command um, the destruction of the works of the devil. Like sickness is a work of the devil. Um, COVID tyranny is a work of the devil. Communism is a work of the devil. Dictatorship is a work of the devil. You know, those are things that are on my mind right now because those are some of the world challenges we're dealing with at the moment. Lying spirits are of the devil. Okay, so there are some things out there that we need to be commanding. We need to be exercising kingly power over. We need to command and it shall be done, knowing and believing and expecting that when we issue a word of command in the name of Jesus, it will be done. Amen? So that's who we are. I mean, that's the kind of power and authority that God has given to us. Jesus is king of kings. We are kings. Whatever a king commands, it shall be done, period. That is the mindset we want to have, okay? This word also means to reign, um, metaphorically to exercise the highest influence, to control. And again, I know I'm, I'm relating a lot of this teaching slightly to current events just because there's certain things going on in this world right now that we need to conquer, amen? We must conquer all this dictatorship and tyranny that's trying to overtake the earth. We must come over that. Okay, we also need to arise in, in positions in this world. We need to arise as sons of God, kings and priests. We need to arise into positions of influence in this world. It's already been spoken over us. Okay, so right now we find that there are a lot of evil people in governmental positions. There are a lot of evil people in judicial positions. There are a lot of evil people in education positions. And so if you look at all the woes that our country is experiencing right now, it all goes back to there are ungodly people in positions of influence and control. We need to kick them out. We need to exercise our authority over, over the devil and the spirits energizing those people. And we need to arise um, not only in exercising spiritual authority, but we need to arise in these positions these physical positions of influence in our governments, in our countries, in our communities, cities, states, at, at any level. You know, we need to, sons of God, we need to take, take control of our countries, take control of our governments, take control of education, take control of judicial. We need sons of God, kings and priests, to be in all these positions of control and influence and leadership in our countries and just turn this world around. Amen. So we exercise our spiritual authority as one aspect of accomplishing that. But then we also need to fill these positions, you know, oust the ungodly people and fill the positions of influence and control with sons of God. Then we're going to be in really good shape. Amen. And, and it's always important to remember that the will of God is king and priest, a, a combined role. Because, it, you know, there's plenty of people who act like kings today and they're just exercising authority for their own pleasure, for their own satisfaction, for their own riches, for the feeling of power. And that is that is a worldly, evil, satanic way of ruling and reigning. But we need to be a king and a priest, like a merged role, like combined together um, in, into one. And that way you have somebody who's connected to God, ruling and reigning as a king, but as a son of God, as a king and a priest, that means the priest part is you are connected to God. You're connected to God. You know the will of God. You know the will of the devil. And so all the ruling and reigning that you'll do as a king and priest will be godly. Amen? And that's exactly what this world needs. We need to arise into these positions as kings and priests and doing all of our ruling and reigning according to the will of God, and then things will be excellent. Amen? All right. So... 
let's go on and let's just look at the word reign in Webster's. Okay, and in English it means to possess or exercise sovereign power or authority, to rule, not to be dominated, but to rule, to exercise government as a king or emperor, to hold the supreme power, to be predominant, to prevail, to rule, to have superior or uncontrolled dominion. Okay, so these are powerful words. Jesus has made us powerful people. You know, we're, we're not just a mere human, but we're a son of God, filled with the Spirit of God, anointed with the Spirit of God, and we have been given the authority of Jesus Christ. All authority in heaven and on earth has been shared with us. So we are amazing creations. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for making us amazing creations. Okay, look at this. We possess and we exercise sovereign power and authority. Amen? So we need to use that authority. We need to believe that we have that authority and we need to exercise it. And, and the way authority works is by commanding. You know, command what you don't want to go. Command what you do want to come. Command the devil and his works to go. Command the will of God to come. Amen? That's what we're, that's what we're supposed to do. And we need to be exercising government as a king. Okay, so we can... There's two things we can do here. There's a spiritual aspect, and then there's a physical aspect. The spiritual aspect would be um, we don't necessarily have to be in that position of physical government, but there are people that are there right now, and we should dictate by our word of command what, um, what bills we approve and what bills we reject, what cases we accept and what cases we reject. Um, so, for example... Like right now, there are hearings in process in the Supreme Court of the United States concerning mandates. Okay, well, as kings and priests, as those who reign in life, we need to exercise our God-given authority. We need to exercise our governmental kingly command, and we need to reject mandates in the name of Jesus. Amen? The devil cannot bring us into bondage. Um, Jesus came to set us free from captivity, set us free from oppression of the devil. We are kings, we are to rule and reign. And so we need to cast our vote figuratively. We need to exercise our God-given authority. We need to exercise our reigning as a king. And we need to reject and cancel all mandates in the name of Jesus. And that's as much detail as I can go into on YouTube without you know, getting into censorship territory, okay? So I have to keep it, keep it safe. All right, so you know what mandates I'm talking about, right? Okay, so let's see what else. The, the second aspect of to exercise government as a king would be, as I mentioned a minute ago, we need to also, not every single one of us, but some of us need to arise and fill all positions of leadership, um, political positions, and city, state, federal, you know, all positions of government, we need to fill them. All positions in education, we need to fill them. All positions in judicial system, we need to fill. So any kind of position of leadership, rulership, and legal, and education, we need to fill those. All positions of influence, we need to fill. We need to literally, physically fill these positions and rule and reign as kings and priests, doing the will of God as standard mode of operation. Okay, That's the physical sense. And then whether we're in the physical job or not, we can exercise our authority over particular issues regardless. Amen? All right. Then also, when we're reigning in life through Jesus, we're not being defeated. We are predominant. We're dominating. Amen? We are dominating. We are dominators. We are more than conquerors. We are rulers and reigners. We are overcomers. We are always led in triumph. We are victorious sons of God. The list goes on and on and on and on. We need to change. We need to change our expectation from defeat. And I'm just a little peon. That's not us. You know, we're sons of God. We're not mere humans. We are sons of God. We're, Jesus is your brother, and we're the same species as him. Same, same. Um, you know, he was human. He was born by the Spirit of God. Okay, we become born again. We become born of the Spirit of God. He was baptized with the Holy Spirit. We get baptized with the Holy Spirit. Um, and so we're the same species, the same creature, the same spirit, the same authority, all the same things. 
The difference is that he knew exactly who he was, and we're trying to convince ourselves who we are. We are sons of God. He knew, and he knew that he knew that he was a son of God, and he knew all the power. He knew all the authority. He knew the goodwill of God. So he had no doubts in his mind who he was. Well, he made us the same as him, but we need to arise in believing that. We need to have a victory mindset. Amen? We are the ones who dominate. We are predominant over the devil. We are predominant over the cabal. We are predominant over um, communists. We are predominant over all tyrannical rulers who try to rise up. We prevail over the devil. We prevail over ungodly man. We prevail over the cabal. We prevail over whatever work the devil's trying to start. We win. <laughs> we win. We win. Okay, get the mindset. Get a victorious mindset. We need that. That's called faith. We need to have a victory mindset. If we want the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God to come true, we have to renew our minds. We need to quit thinking failure-oriented thoughts, and we need to arise in victory-oriented thoughts. And then we're in a place of faith, and then we're going to be exceedingly fruitful. Amen? So that's a major aspect of why we do confession. It strengthens your faith. It renews the mind. And then you're also speaking faith at the same time. Amen? All right, so I hope you get the idea. This is a powerful, powerful passage. Now let's try and make this into a confession. All right, so we um, we already read it out loud, so let's just make it into confession. All right, so I declare in Jesus' name, the grace of God, the abundant grace of God rests upon me in every aspect of my life. I declare in the name of Jesus that I have received the gift of righteousness. I declare in Jesus' name that my sins have been washed away by the blood of Jesus. I declare that I am holy and blameless. I am above reproach in the sight of God for my sins have been washed away by Jesus. So thank you, Jesus. I declare that I am righteous in nature. I am in right standing with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We are joined together. We are one I am the body of Christ. Jesus is the head of Christ, and Christ is filled with the Spirit of God. So I am one with Father. I am one with Christ. I am filled and anointed with the Holy Spirit. I am righteous. I also declare that the sinful nature that I once had, it has been crucified with Christ and is dead. It is gone and it shall not be resurrected. I declare that I have received a do right, a do good nature. I have received the spirit of God. I have received the holiness of God. I have received the do right and do good nature of Jesus Christ himself. I am righteous. And I declare in Jesus name that I reign in life. I reign in life through Jesus Christ. I declare that I am a king, and whatever I, the king, command, it shall be done, period. Let me say it again. I declare in the name of Jesus, I reign in life through Jesus Christ. Jesus died and made me king. I am a king. I have received the authority of Jesus Christ. I have received all authority in heaven and on earth. I am seated in heavenly places far above all principalities, powers, mights, dominions, and every name that is named. And as a king and as a son of God, whatever I, the king, command, it shall be done, period. I exercise kingly power and authority. I reign in life. I reign in victory. I live in victory. I live from victory to victory to victory, and I know no defeat. I do not know defeat. I am a son of God, and I abide in victory. I abide in ruling and reigning. I am in charge, and I exercise my kingly power and authority, and I crush and destroy the works of the devil, and I bring forth my Father's goodwill. I exercise the highest level of influence to bring forth my Father's goodwill into this world. I declare in the name of Jesus that I possess sovereign power and authority. I declare that by way of Jesus Christ, I have received authority over all this earth, um, the things visible and the things invisible, and whatever I, the King, command, it shall be done. And I declare in the name of Jesus that by the power and authority of God given to me, I reign in life and I exercise government. I choose what things I will allow in my country and I reject the things that are ungodly. I choose what laws I will accept, and I choose what laws shall be canceled and rejected. I am a king. I rule. I reign. I declare in the name of Jesus that because I reign in life through Jesus Christ, 
I am predominant. I dominate over the devil and all of his works. I dominate over the cabal and I crush them under my feet in the name of Jesus. I declare that I prevail over all the cabal, evil works, all the deep state, whatever you want to call them. I prevail over all the evil ones who are trying to rule and reign upon this earth. I crush them. I destroy them. I destroy their works and I displace their works with good and godly works, and I abound in this, and so be it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, well, you could go on and on and on, you know, so it's like I'm getting stirred up as I'm doing this, and so we're going to finish confessing this. We're going to say it back to God as a thank you, but then you just get energized. You get stirred up, and we need to come against all those cabal works that they're doing, all the tyranny, the mandates, all that stuff, after you finish your confession today, just, just let it rip and just crush those things. Amen? The entire earth needs to rise up and crush all these cabal works, these mandates, this dictatorship, this communism, socialism, whatever you want to call it, this evil, tyrannical ruling and reigning. We shall have none of it. We shall destroy it. We are crushing it. We win. Amen? We win. We are predominant. We are the winners. We prevail. We are sons of God. We reign in life. We're not crushed in life. We reign in life. We are the ones who are destroying their day, not the other way around. We are the one who gets the victory, not them. Amen? That's the mindset we want. All right, so Jesus and Father and Holy Spirit, thank you for making me a son of God. Thank you, Jesus, that you died and made me king. Thank you, Jesus, that you also made me a priest. So thank you that you have connected me to our Father. And thank you for arising me in knowledge of the good will of God and what the will of the devil and the works of the devil are. And thank you for arising me in operation and authority. Thank you for having me to reign in life. Holy Spirit, I just ask that you will continuously remind me and continuously remind all the people of Dominion Bible Ministry, remind us to use our authority, remind us and prompt us, come against this, come against that, bring this forth, bring that forth. So just, I ask that you will do a mighty work in each of us in DBM so that we are constantly exercising our kingly power and authority to bring in your will and crush and destroy and just obliterate the works of the devil. And let us just be proficient in this. Let us be highly active in this. Let us hear an abundance of testimonies and share them with one another so that we are encouraged in the faith and we are stronger and stronger day by day. And I just thank you that, Jesus, thank you that you paid a dear price. You literally died to make us kings, to make us sons of God. So thank you, Jesus. And Father, you are the vine dresser. I just ask that you will Prune me and prune all the people of Dominion Bible Ministry. Prune us from anything that hinders us in operating in this kingly power and authority. Prune us and uh, prune us from whatever's hindering us and fill us with whatever we need so that we arise and are super strong in reigning to do your will and destroy the works of the devil so that your will is accomplished in this earth. We ask that you also fill us with abounding energy and motivation and zeal and passion to do this ruling and reigning. And we just thank you for it. So thank you for making me and thank you for making all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for making us ones who dominate, ones who walk in victory, ones who prevail in life, ones who rule and reign. Thank you. Also, I just ask that you will inspire us some of us need to arise into physical positions. So I ask that you will inspire those of us whom you want to arise into physical positions, whether in, in politics, um, House, Senate, President, whatever, whether education, whether judicial. I just ask that you will put a burning desire in the hearts of many of us, the, the right number of us, to have us pursue those positions, arise into them, and let those positions be filled with sons of God who will rule and reign according to your will forevermore, generation upon generation. We say, let it be done in Jesus' name, and thank you, and amen. All right, well, I'm fired up right now. I could go on for a long time. So we're going to wrap it up for here. But at this point, please do make your list, especially of some of these country-level and world-level things that we need to crush and destroy. Make your list of things and come against it right now. Amen? God bless you and have a great day.